Now, it's a mission to unlock more secrets of the sun. The British-built Solar Orbiter spacecraft, which launched earlier this year, has taken the closest pictures of the sun ever. The joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency is studying the inner workings of the sun in unprecedented detail and finding out more about how it affects us here on Earth. Here's our science correspondent, Rebecca Morell. Our sun, seen in remarkable close-up detail, these images, taken by Solar Orbiter, reveal something we've never seen before. Small solar flares across the whole surface, which scientists have called campfires. Seeing these images for the first time was breathtaking. And when we look at the sun in these images, we're able to see explosions happening all throughout the sun's atmosphere. And we weren't expecting to see that. And that's the beauty of it, finding new things for the first time, seeing the sun in a new way, in a way that we, we couldn't have imagined. Vehicles cleared the tower. The spacecraft started its mission in February. Built in the UK is designed to cope with extreme temperatures as it nears our star. The Earth is about 93 million miles from the sun and other missions have taken solar pictures from just above our planet. But on its first pass, Solar Orbiter got much closer, within 48 million miles. And over the next two years, it's heading closer still, within 25 million miles of the sun. This will give us a totally new view. But in the next few years, we'll actually be able to pull up and look down on the sun uh, above the North Pole and then later on at the South Pole. And we've never done that before. We've never taken pictures of the North and South Pole of the sun. And it could be dramatically different to what we see around the equator. Today's images are just a glimpse of what's to come. The hope is this mission will finally shed light on our star. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News. Time for the weather now. Philip Avery.